Hello everybody, Ninja Gamer here. Welcome to another Minecraft video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make a basic Minecraft shop. Now, basically, to do a, if you have a server, you want to make a shop using the scoreboard. Right now, if I try to, I'll show you buying and then I'll show you selling. If I try to buy a melon, it says insufficient funds. If I do Real quick, if I add scoreboard, so scoreboard, players set ninja gamer balance five thousand. Okay, now I can buy all the melons I want until I reach back to insufficient funds. And then, if I had a stack of melons, I could sell it. But if I don't have a stack, I don't sell it, and I don't gain money. So I have to have melons and when I right click it. So basically to create this first what you need to do is you need to download something called Autumn's Sign Generator. This allows you to add simple texts and stuff. Now what you want to do the, for the first part for the insufficient funds text. You need another website called Minecraft JSON which add, allows you to type in a text. You can edit it and add all of these here and then you can copy this and paste it into here except you want to put that it tells all players who wait a minute, the nearest player whose score balance score and there's an underscore right there this highlight area there's an underscore so you have their score balance equals 299. That means that if it's th under 300, then it will give them the insufficient funds text. This next one tells you to give them the melon if their score balance minimum is 300, which means they have to have 300 or more. And then melon 0 and then 64. And then this third one is to take away their score. Scoreboard players remove at player, which is nearest player, score and an underscore here, balance, there's an underscore, minimum equals 300 again, and then balance 300. So this is just identifying who the player is, and then this is the actual thing it's doing. And the fourth line can just be blank. So what you want to do is you want to copy this and paste it into a command block. Now this isn't going to work unless you put a sign in the location. Actually, before you do that, you also... Oh wait, never mind, I already did that. You want to make sure that you put one here, just so that way the coordinates will go right above the command block. You can change it if you know the coordinates, just press F3. It tells you what block you're looking at, the coordinates of it. And you can use that to... And then once you finish with the command block, press this. And when I click here, it takes my money and... didn't give me a melon. There we are. Now it gave me 64 melons. And it lowers my score. Okay, so you do not want the zero in front of here, just put melon64. For other blocks to get their codes, what you want to do is, I think it's, first you have F3Q, oh wait, that was F5. F3Q just tells you all these. So, the advanced tooltips are F3H, which means that, I already had them shown, you see what it's called for command blocks. And because this is stone 0, and then there's a stone 1, 4, 3, 5, and basically that's when you have to add an extra number before you put the number of items. But if it doesn't have one, then you leave it blank. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So and that's the basic buy shop. Now with the cell shop, it's a little more advanced. What you want to do is slash scoreboard 
players and then tag and then you would do at player and then add and then you could do something like sell melon it doesn't really matter what it is as long as you need an individual one for each cell stroke though because then this command block over here what it does is it tests for any player with the tag cell melon so that way it doesn't affect other players and then inventory id minecraft melon count equals 64 so that way you can change the number that they see and then a letter b just after to change the number you would just simply change the number that's all there is to it and i will put the commands inside the description if you for you to copy so basically once it detects it so let me actually enter the command now that command block there triggered to turn it off, I'm just going to break that for now. And now, basically, this doesn't turn on yet because I don't have melons to sell. I have to have these. And then it disappears, adds score. So if you look closely to the... It added score. To remove it, you simply have a repeat command block here, always active. And just test for player with tag cell melon. Put a repeater on two ticks so that way it delays compared to this. And then scoreboard players tag at all players remove cell melon. Just in case two people are buying stuff at once. Then what you want to do is add a command saying scoreboard players add at all players with a tag cell melon balance 150 because you're gaining money. And then clear all players whose tag equals sell melon. Melon 0, 64. This one you have to include its damage value. And then the number of melons. You can That way it doesn't clear every melon. So if I had two melons, two stacks of melons, it would only clear one of them. And then I would have to enter command again and clicking the sign enters the command basically so if I click the sign it'll enter this command and you just put it on the autumn sign generator you might want to change this to say cell and then you might also want to change the money to half of which is 150 because sometimes you make it so that way they lose money and not lose more money than they gain if they just buy and then sell. That's what most factions, most servers do, so. And then basically you would put in that command in just one of these. So this isn't needed, I can just remove click event, remove click event remove click event and just add one here which is what was it again um, I'm just gonna do this so that way I can see as I'm writing score board players tag and then nearest player add cell melon. Oh, I actually did a capital M and S. So it has to be the same as in the command blocks, otherwise, it's not going to work. Same cases and everything. If it's not the same as it was in the command block, then. And to make sure that. They, I separated these two because otherwise they would keep the tag if they didn't have a melon and then the moment they put a stack in their inventory it would automatically get sold even if they changed their mind. So that's why I separated this command block from sell melon one. Because otherwise it would only activate if they already had a stack. 
This one's just always active to when they get the tag, it delays and then gets rid of the tag. And the delay, so that way these ones can trigger first, because they all depend on if you have the tag. Otherwise it would just give every player a melon even if they didn't try to buy one. It would take their melons and give them money. So, and then for the command you would just put this sign here, it doesn't matter what it says. And then you would have to copy this first. Copy, control V is to paste. And then put a button, press the button, and sell melon. And right now I don't have any money, or melons. If I do, then it should. It's not working, actually. Um, why isn't this working? Oh, wait. Oh, I see. I added the wrong tag. I put two L's instead of one. So you have to have exactly the same with the score, otherwise it's just gonna, won't work properly. Now the command's triggering and you see that working. And then if I have a melon, it takes my melon and adds money. Okay, now that's basically how the cell shop works. And you create multiple versions of these change the tag for each individual item and then I just have this command block here that brings back all the signs this it goes to the precise coordinates of the block this one restores the ones for buying which isn't as advanced in the cell shop though you had to detect the number of items so you had to you need more than four command space to get this you need to like test for and stuff like that so it had to be just set the scoreboard there and then okay guys so now I'm going to show you how to add the scoreboard balance to the area command so you just do slash scoreboard objectives add and then you put the name balance and basically that's the name and then don't want to hit tab that just adds like a minecraft item to it you want to write dummy and it already exists so yeah so anyways guys that's going to be the end of this video hope you enjoyed and i will see you all later bye